Uh, we were set to return next Monday. Uh, however, that's now been delayed indefinitely after uh, there's been at least uh, publicly one uh, confirmed member of the assembly who has tested positive as well as a few uh, staff members. Uh, Autumn Burke has put on her uh, Twitter that she has tested positive. Um, and I believe she's the only one who's publicly stated that. We knew this was gonna happen. It was inevitable uh, that there would be cases and it's just not a sustainable solution to shut the legislative branch of government down indefinitely. Uh, there are people across the state who depend on the work we do, uh, not least of which uh, the work that is directly relevant uh, to addressing the public health issues uh, related to COVID-19 and the associated uh, issues affecting the economy and people's lives. Uh, the governor has consolidated an unprecedented amount of power in the executive branch. And if the legislature isn't even at the Capitol, uh, the governor is still there. And so all that is going to do is, uh, you know, is keep checks and balances from being restored for even longer.